My name is Kander Kovic and I am the owner and operator of Trix Hair Studio. I'm also the janitor, the receptionist, and assistant. <laughs> it's a small, private, comfortable place to, that offers all hair services to all ages. Um, I'm all about the experience, so that's very important to me and I just want people to leave with a smile on their face. Um, pretty much all hair services, I do facial waxing, eyebrow eyelash tinting, and temporary eyelash extensions. Uh, Trix Hair Studio was established in 2005. Um, I've been a hairstylist since I was born, I think. And uh, I grew up saying I was going to have my own hair affair, because Janice Pierce, who has a salon downtown that is still thriving and going strong, uh, that's, she's been my idol. And so since I think I was six years old, I said, I'm going to have my own hair affair. And uh, it really started with detentions in junior high and high school. Uh, any chance I could do my friend's hair, I was always getting kicked out of class. Um, and then after that, I went to LA School of Hair Design and uh, pursued my career there. And that's kind of where it started. Yes, I am originally from Special Areas. I was born and raised in Oyen, Alberta. It's wonderful being a rural entrepreneur. Um, I have an extended family that is my clientele. It's a wonderful bond and relationship that I have grown over the years with these people and maybe because of the small town mentality, um, just everybody knows everybody. So you feel a huge amount of support um, from people you've known for years or just even a new person walking in your door. So the idea for my business to come about was um, idolizing my cousin Janice Pierce who has the hair affair downtown. Um, which is still going strong and thriving. And ever since I was a little girl, I just said, I, I want my own hair affair. And I decided that you either work hard to pursue your own dreams or you work hard for someone else to pursue theirs. So I chose me. Again, as I mentioned before, a lot of uh, getting in trouble in high school and junior high from doing all my friends' hair when I'm not supposed to. And uh, pursuing my education at LA School of Hair Design and then I moved to Red Deer after that and became the Red Seal licensed hairstylist and just classes, courses, hair shows and it's a continual learning career and um, yeah it's every day you learn something new. Uh, Red Seal on any journeyman certificate means that you can work in any province of Canada. I would say the biggest issues for running my business is saying no. I have a hard time saying no or letting down a client. Um, if I said yes, I probably could work 24 seven, but I do have to have a life. So, but yeah, saying no is, is the most difficult thing for me, for sure. The most satisfying moment in my business is every day that a client leaves with a smile on their face, just knowing that I can help them feel confident, beautiful, comfortable or whatever it is in a positive way. That is the most satisfying part of my career. The key driving force to become an entrepreneur, um, as I mentioned, would be that I just wanted to fulfill my dreams and uh, be my own boss. And again, not work to make someone else's dreams come true. And it's just something I've always loved. It's what I knew I wanted to do. Uh, being an entrepreneur has affected my family life in a positive way. Uh, it's allowed me to work from home so that I can have the perfect balance of my career and my family life. So uh, that's something that I don't think I could achieve in the city, you know, just being in the rural area. You have that support. Uh, word of mouth travels quicker. So, um, and everyone's quite understanding in a small town, I find here, that if I need that time to be doing what I need for my family, they are very accommodating. When I first started, I thought I needed to know all the answers. I thought I needed to have it all figured out. And I would tell myself that no, and just relax and trust that path and the journey that you're on as I'm still on it. And so I do take that advice still today. The top three things to be successful, I believe, is dedication, um, passion, and in my industry, master your craft. And uh, I guess this is four, but treat your clients and customers how you want to be treated. Don't forget what it's like to be on the other end of the business.
the advice I'd give would be to, uh, well, you get out of it what you put into it. So the more you give, the more you're going to get. So, uh, and just don't take no for an answer. Don't let anyone discourage you. Um, and just trust your gut and go for it. Most importantly, what would help my business continue to thrive is just the continual support. Um, everyone shopping locally, that is huge in a rural community. If you support all businesses, it benefits all businesses. Even if you don't step foot into my salon particularly, that uh, support benefits everyone else, which if we grow as a community and business, we grow in population. So um, that's my opinion there. I always have a business plan. Um, I try to do better today than I did yesterday. I am always itching to learn something new and to find a client that will let me experiment on them. Um, but I just, yeah, I just want to grow each day and do everything I can and not look back and have any regrets and say, oh, I wish I would have did that. And that goes with any part of my life, but for sure in my career, definitely. My favorite quote is from my parents, actually, and it is to do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. What I wish people knew about my business is, well, it's clear that I am a hairstylist, uh, an artist, as they are my canvas. But it isn't always about the hair for me. Um, I not only want my clients to leave looking amazing and looking beautiful, but I, it's about how they feel. If it's in regards to their hair or if they're having a bad day or something's going on in their personal life. If there's any bit that I can help, most importantly, um, I just want someone to leave my business feeling amazing. <laughs>